Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be diving into the awesome world of inner VLAN routing with Router on a Stick. I mean, haven't you ever wanted to route multiple VLANs through a single interface? I mean, who hasn't? Well, let's get started. Hey guys, I wanted to cover some topics today, or some concepts, I should say, on what a router on a stick is and what we're going to be doing. So I have a 2800 series Cisco router in my rack behind me, and I've got a 3560 uh, switch in that rack also. So the switch, we're going to create two VLANs, a VLAN 10 and a VLAN 20. We're going to create some sub-interfaces on that 2800 series router <clears throat> to differentiate um, the various VLANs we've created on that on that switch or if you have other VLANs that's fine um, you just need to create a sub interface for each VLAN you want to route between um, that's going to go up to that to that layer 3 device that you might have in your lab um, so the traditional like I said the traditional approach would <coughs> would be you'd have you know one VLAN with a layer 3 uplink to a router or maybe another layer 3 switch and that would do it uh, on this one we're going to trunk everything up to that 2800 um, and then we're going to create those sub interfaces uh, to handle that traffic or route the traffic between the VLANs and then come back down. So uh, pretty, pretty simple lab, but it's kind of handy if you're in a pinch. Um, so some advantage of this, of doing things like this, uh, cost, hardware savings, reduces the number of physical interfaces that the router requires so that your router can be cheaper. Um, I mean, maybe you need more horsepower if you're maybe doing 100 sub interfaces, which at that point, I hope you just... There's other methods to do, but uh, like I said, down at the bottom of the slide, there's the trade-off. So you're, you know, you're going to have congestion when you when you start doing this with a lot of VLANs or like maybe VLANs you're routing between that have high traffic volumes. You, you probably are going to see some congestion, but <clears throat> uh, this has been done a ton. And like I said, I just wanted to cover it. I believe it's in the CCNA. I mean, it was in my CCNA when I took it uh, five years ago. So I just wanted to cover the topic. So let's jump in. All right, so we're on the 3560 here, and I call it Switch 4 in my lab here, so that's why you're seeing the host name that way. Um, so let's jump in. We need to, uh, let's just see if I have those two VLANs created. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sick today, so. But it's been 10 days, I want you guys to have a video, so let's do it. Um, so let's configure, let's go in and configure our, our Layer 2 VLAN. So VLAN 10, and like I said, let's name them uh, before. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'll, I'll do Data 1 and then VLAN 20, and then we'll do name data two. So those are our two VLANs that we've created. Let's do a show VLAN three. And we'll see those guys, uh, they're, at, they're up and active, so that's good. So we're not gonna create a layer three interface for these. <clears throat> and IP routing, I believe, is um, not enabled on this switch. So that's good, because we don't, we enabled IP routing on this layer two switch. It would become a layer three switch at that point. It'd be wanting to route and we put interfaces on there, but we're going to want to use that 2800 series router. So let's just pretend the switch we're using, you know, isn't capable of uh, layer three. So I'm going to use port 24 in the lab. That's uplinked to FA00 uh, or a fast ethernet interface on that 2800 uh, router. And so we're going to create uh, an interface or a trunk connection, excuse me, between this 3560 and that 2800. But we're also going to need to put a couple interfaces in, at least one in VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, so we can uh, put some hosts in there and actually test communication. Which, because I want to do a verification step at the end of this lab, so let's let's jump into that. So let's uh, let's go into uh, configuration T or configuration terminal, and then let's do interface FA01, and let's configure that. So switch port mode access and then switch port access right vlan 10 so that's now in vlan 10 and now let's move to interface fa02 and switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 20. all right so now we've we've stuck and let's do a let's do show run now we should see those interfaces in there yep so those are those are how we want them and now let's uh, do show run interface. I want to make sure 24 is doesn't have a, have a configuration on it, and it doesn't. So let's go interface FA024. Uh, and this, like I said, we're going to need to create a trunk, right? So <clears throat> that way we can trunk, we can get all the VLANs up to that 2800 to simplify that. So let's uh, switch port 
uh, trunk encapsulation dot one Q and then switchboard mode trunk and I'll put a description uplink to 2800 all right so that is done so let's do show run and there we go so and that did come up as you saw in the um, interface state here so that's moved up to uh, that state is that interface has moved up to the state of up so that's good so show interface status i believe these guys <coughs> are currently connected so i've got two linux hosts um in my vmware lab that these are connected to and then i've got and what i use for those just an fyi i just use i have a just a pretty much a windows 10 box that i have a vmware workstation installed on i have multiple usb NICs hanging off like usb 3 and 2 so they're one gig or you know 10 100 network cards since vmware doesn't really do trunking uh at least on the workstation side there might be a hack for that if you guys know of it i'd be i'd love to learn uh that but uh currently i have to have uh separate networks for every vlan or host i want to put in a vlan so uh, but anyways, let's let's get moving. So I need to I'm going to pause it real quick. I need to connect my console cable over to the 2800 and then we'll go from there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're connected to this 2811 uh, top router I have in my rack. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been sick for a couple of days. After my my last travel. Um, so we're going to use FA this fast, fast Ethernet 00. Um, that's where we're connected. And um, so we're going to create, or like I said, we're going to create, we're going to no shut this interface. Um, then we're going to create a sub interface, or two sub interfaces, I should say, uh, off that interface. So we're kind of like just, you know, you've got the physical interface, right? And then we're just, we're kind of just adding numbers to it. Uh, it's more complicated than that, but it, it, look at it that way. So the interface will be, will be creating, and so it'll say like fast Ethernet 00. Dot 10 or dot 20 or dot 700 whatever your vlan i like to match those up so um let's dive into it so let's configuration t here configure terminal interface fa00 uh and we're going to no shut that because we don't want that off right we want that up and then we'll exit that um and then we're this is so on this interface it's not created yet so we're going to go interface fa00.10 that actually is going to make this, as you see, we're going to slide into this sub interface command window here. And then there's command sets, you know, underneath that. There's commands we can run on top of that. So we need to do some encapsulation, right? Because uh, we're, we're talking VLANs and trunks. So dot one Q, right? And then there's another option here at the end of that uh, for the VLAN ID, this, this sub interface is going to be in. And we're going to say 10, right? That's the first one we're going to do. Now we also need to, since we need a gateway for those hosts to, to route between these two networks, right? We're going we're gonna to apply an IP address onto this. So let's do IP address uh, 192.168.10.1. And we'll just make it into a 24 slash 24. So we could exit this or we can kind of move on, but let's exit. And then we'll go interface, right? FA00.20. So that'll make that sub interface and then we'll do the exact same thing so encapsulation dot one q 20 right ip address the only change here is we're gonna we're gonna need a different ip right because we're um we are making a different network right different subnet so 192.168.20.1 and that's also slash 24. so excellent that um you know i should have probably no shut those two uh they should be up let's just do that real quick so and then i'll show you let's no shut and then interface fa00.20 no shut let's just make sure those are not off and then let's show run let's see what we have here all right so perfect so like before we just had fast ethernet at zero zero and fast ethernet zero one now we have fast ethernet zero zero dot ten and dot twenty and you can see the encapsulation dot one q ten for ten um so we're all ready to go our trunk from our switch is set up we've got hosts uh turned on we'll need i need to add some ip so we'll do that here once i switch over 
So we'll use a couple of Linux boxes I have, just virtual machines that we'll use for testing because we want to make sure now we have comms, right? We want we have ICMP that we can get across um, for some verification. Then we'll do some verification commands on the router and the switch, um, possibly. So, but super easy. So like like I said, if you're stuck and you need a layer three device and you have a Cisco router or a, um, you know at the top, or maybe you can do this too with a like a 40 gate firewall. You can do the same thing with a 40 gate firewall. Uh, you might want to make you know a port channel up there or something, but uh, so it's redundant. But you still could use that 40 gate or that Cisco ASA and use sub interfaces, and then use the ASA as your as your router, or you can um, you know handle your VLANs. Let's just say if you didn't have a layer three switch or something be, uh, below. All right, so uh, I'm going to pause again, and then we'll get into the Linux hosts here. All right, so we're back. So <clears throat> Lin1 and then Lin2 are my two Linux hosts. So Lin1, uh, just doing a quick if config here. Uh, its IP is uh, 192.168.10.10. Uh, like I said, this is in VLAN 10 then, right? Uh, for that, I was kind of trying to match those up. So that third octet, I'd like to match those. Um, so let's ping 192.168.10.1, its default gateway. Looks like that's working well. <coughs> Excuse me again for my, my sound terrible. Uh, and then let's do 20.1, right? Because that, that's still going up and over. So that, that looks great. And then um, let's do uh, 20.10. And that, like I said, is Lin2. So 20.10 is Lin2. Um, let's try to ping that real quick. And yeah, we have comms at least on one side. I mean, it is coming back, so I'm, I'm pretty confident we're good to go. But I do like to test both ends if I can. So 20.1. Especially, you never know. And then 10.1, right? And then 10.10. And we are good to go on both sides. All that looks great. So let's roll back over to this, this 2800 uh, series router. And then let's run. Um, Let's run the command show IP interface brief. And you're going to see it's already up there on my screen, but I want you guys to have the command. Um, so here we are. We're um, fast Ethernet 00, zero unassigned IP address, right? We didn't put an IP on it, but protocol's up. But then as you notice, there's a 10 and a 20. Those, are, those do have IPs assigned, and, and they're okay. Status is up, protocol up, so that looks good. As we know, it's working because... <coughs> We were able to put, you know, ICMP between them. So, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. So, on the switch, um, let me pause real quick. Well, actually, I don't have to pause. Really, what I would do on that switch is just, you know, you just need to verify that your status. So, show, you know, interface status. Um, you could do show interfaces, interface command. Well, let's do it real quick. I'll go over there and console back over. Give me one second. All right, we're back on that 3650. Um, so right now, let's do a show interface status, and we should see uh, the VLANs that they're in, and then we'll go down to 24 here. We did have a description on that, and then that showing is a trunk, which is good. Uh, duplex full, speed 100. It's only a 100, uh, it's only a 10100 switch right now. Um, and you could do show interface, uh, FA01 if you wanted to and, and look at that and make sure uh, you know packets input outputs <clears throat> it's moving you know you could actually look at some TX and RX loads here um, especially like I was talking about before the congestion that that could be happening now so so now you could actually put some hosts like I said you could have more hosts and you can put those in VLAN 10 and um, you know, you can route to, let's say, your server subnet of that data, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the lab. Uh, pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, <clears throat> now that I'm back for a couple more days before I have to travel again, I'll have some more out for you. I appreciate all the subscribers and all the questions. Um, don't feel, yeah, just if you got a comment, please throw it down at the bottom. Uh, I'm trying to get videos out as soon as I can. I'm still working on some Wazoo uh, labs. Uh, as I'm learning it, like I said, I'm not a I'm not a security expert on that, but it's super fun. So I'm having a good time with that. So um, yeah, let's learn learn together, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks again.